Hey man, how does he get that spinning orange thing in the background? Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. How are you doing tonight? A few people have asked me, how do you get that orange yellow spinning thing at the end of your videos? And I'll show you what I mean right here. So that's what I have at the end of my videos. Sometimes I have blue, sometimes I use video, but a lot of times I use this uh, spinning orange sun as I call it. So this is gonna be a tutorial on how I get the spinning sun thing. We're gonna be using Illustrator CS4. Uh, we're gonna go to new. We're going to create a new artboard and it's going to be 2,500 pixels by 2,500 pixels. So that is way bigger than our HD area that we're going to be working on later. So we say, okay, and I'm just going to make this window so that we can see everything. And if you hit command zero, that'll bring your artboard all into the same window, which is great. Uh, we're going to start off with a big square and we'll drag that out and we want that square so you click over here this is our fill spot we're going to click that that's the color we want as our background uh, we don't want a line around that so we click on our select tool we're going to lock this layer so we don't have to uh, we don't accidentally click on it again we're going to start a new layer and this is going to be our sun ray layer get ready Okay, so we're gonna Command R, which brings up our rulers. And we're gonna click in this little area. And as we click there, we start to get a guide. And we're gonna drag a guide out. And we're gonna to try to roughly give it, uh, get to the center of that, which would be 1250 pixels. Um, and about, eh, let's drop it right there. So that's gonna be our center of our sun. Now we're going to grab our pen tool and we're going to, if you uh, hold uh, shift or sorry, space bar down, you can actually move your paste or your artboard around and we want to get to this. We want to see the top of our, our artboard. So we're going to click here to start our sun ray and we'll click there. And with CS4, it uh, does intersections for you and little guides to remind you where you're other click is so you don't have to guess like we used to back in the day so we're crisscrossing across the center I'm gonna move over line it up with the other one click and then I'm gonna close our shape by clicking on the first shape that I clicked on and then we're gonna put a, a fill of yellow in there and make sure you don't have a line so just a fill no line and there's our first ray of our Sun now we're gonna click on it and we're going to go up to edit we're going to copy and then we're going to paste it and we have some shortcuts here so command C and command V so we're going to command C command V and we have a duplicate of our Sun ray and we're going to try and put it over the old one as best we can I can use my arrow tools on my uh, keyboard just to line it up so that is as best as we can centered and I just noticed that our line, uh, our center is here for it. So I'm just going to move our guide up to intersect with our center. That will help us in a minute. Uh, when we're on a selection tool and we put our selection tool close to the corner of a object or an object, it'll turn into a bent arrow tool. So uh, that's our rotation tool. And as we click, it'll start to rotate and give us a degree of what the degree is. Uh, so what we're going to do is hold shift down and it'll snap to a 45 90 or 180 we're going to go to the 90 and there is two rays or four rays of our sun uh, now we're going to click on the first one and the second one uh, holding shift so or you can do a command a for select all and again because our background's locked it's not going to select that by accident and we're going to command c for copy command v for paste again snap it to the center use our arrow keys if we think it's off that looks good uh, go to the edge we're going to go to our rotation tool again and we're going to hold shift go to the 45 and there's eight now we're going to command a for select all command c command v 
and we're going to put that back over top of the old one and then we're going to drag that out and this time we're going to have to eyeball it because if we snap it'll just snap to the same shape as or same position as the last one and it's usually around 2250 and that's close enough and we're going to do one more because our sun isn't bright enough uh, command a command c command v move it back over top of the old one and we're going to rotate it and we're going to have to eyeball it again and it's going to be around 12 degrees and there we go there's our sun now we're going to um, kind of fade out the center so it's not hard lines all the way to the center and so what i like to do is uh, we'll add one more layer i'll lock that so i don't accidentally click on anything so i can't click on anything and move it by accident i can't highlight select nothing okay so we're going to go back to our our shape we're going to grab our ellipse tool if you put your ellipse tool in the dead center hold shift hold option or alt alt shift it will make a circle going from the center out so I'll make it about halfway out i guess that's going to be 1300 pixels and there is the center of our sun. But we're going to drop the opacity to about 60. And then we're going to add an effect. So go up to your effect tools, stylize, feather. And we're going to do 150 pixels for the feather. I'm going to say OK. And there you go. There's our sun. And we're going to export. We're going to call this sun. We're going to make it a JPEG. We're going to export it make sure it goes into our folder. Uh, for some reason it wants to make it a CMYK. I guess I should have changed that earlier, but we'll just make it an RGB now because video is RGB. Now I'm going to show you how we get it spinning in our editing software. So we're going to go over to Final Cut Pro. This is Final Cut 6.0.6 .6, and we're going to do an import which is Command I. We're going to go to our desktop, orange sun, double click on our JPEG, drag our JPEG in there. I've only, I have it set up for, for it to only come in as two frames. So I'm going to drag that out to 10 seconds. That's usually what I make my uh, my ending ending of my videos that's how long they usually are and I, it usually snaps to this uh, it brings the artwork in and it snaps like that so what you can do is you can either drag it out by clicking on it and dragging it out or let me just undo that or you can double click it go up to motion click motion click in scale just hit a hundred percent and there you go. Um, just to give you a heads up, if I go down to 12%, that's how big our piece of artwork is. Oops, let me go back to 100%. That's how big our artwork is. If we go to a corner and we want to rotate, and that's why if, if it was any smaller, then it would be getting cut off or it'd be showing the white there. So it's nice and big. So there you go, that's 100%. And we're going to now go to the beginning of our sun clip. And we're going to put a keyframe in. I can move this over just to show you. So that's the length, that's our 10, 10 seconds. Go to the end of our 10 seconds. You could go there or there, move the playhead. And we hit another keyframe. And on this keyframe, we're gonna hit, drag it over to 90. And uh, let's drag this back so you can see the whole piece of video. Let me click at the beginning of our timeline and hit spacebar to play and there is your spinning background and you can put your two pieces of video there and your follow me on facebook and twitter and there you go guys that's the spinning sun tutorial hope you enjoyed it please give my video a thumbs up comment below subscribe button is just above me and i'm also putting a video out every wednesday and sunday at 12 noon all right so see you then bye